let's look at an example of a de Broglie wavelength and calculating a de Broglie wavelength. Well, it's pretty simple. We're going to look at the de Broglie wavelength for an electron. And say we have some electrons that are going to eventually go through a double slit, and you know we could do a further problem, but we want to know, if we're going to deal with a double slit, we want to know what is the wavelength of that electron. So here we go. If an electron has a mass of 9.11 times 10 to the minus 31st kilograms, and somehow we give it a velocity of 8,000 meters per second, what's the de Broglie wavelength? Well, we know that the de Broglie wavelength is given by the relationship, the lambda, the wavelength is equal to h over p. And we know that since we're dealing with an electron, and it's 8,000 meters per second, that's non-relativistic, it's a pretty slow-moving electron. It might be fast for us, but slow for, in terms of, you know, the absolute speed limit of the universe. So we can just substitute in uh, mv for our momentum. So lambda equals h over mv. And we substitute in all of our numbers. We see that h is 6.626 times 10 to the minus 34th meters squared kilograms per second. We divide that by the mass, 9.11 times 10 to the 31st kilograms. And we also divide by the velocity, 8,000 meters per second. So when we calculate this all out, we get, you know, something minus 34 cancels with minus 31. We're left with ne negative 3 on the top. Uh, we get another negative 3 out there, plus these factors give us another uh, negative, two negative values, or exponents of the negative values. So we get, you know, we're not surprised, 90.9 uh, times 10 to the minus 9th, or 90.9 nanometers. So just simple equation, uh, simple substitutions of it, uh, but we now have an electron, we know its wavelength, so if we're given a double slit and given some geometry, we could actually start to figure out this diffraction or this interference pattern because of it. So we have a wavelength, we now can interfere that electron with itself.